Hi, I'm Simone and today we're going to be making carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. This is a lovely moist cake which contains no butter and will keep for several days without drying out. It's really easy to make and you'll be really impressed with the results. The prep time for this cake is around about 10 minutes and the baking time will vary. You can make around about 10 to 12 large muffins from this recipe or a 7 inch round cake. So to start you'll need to prep your ingredients and this will mean you'll need to grate your carrots and chop your walnuts if you're using them. You can then add your sifted flour to your sugar, salt and spices and mix well. In this recipe I've used white sugar and molasses. This is personal taste and you can use treacle instead of molasses or you can just use brown sugar as that works just as well. the ingredients together well, you can now add the oil to the eggs. Just whisk them really well with a fork before you add them to the flour mixture and then mix them thoroughly together with a wooden spoon or a spatula. As you can see, I have really thickly grated carrot here. If you prefer your cake to have a finer texture, then what you need to do when you're grating is to use a finer grate so that the pieces are smaller and thinner. You can also make the pieces smaller by cutting your carrot into smaller pieces before grating them. So I would recommend only using young fresh carrots that you've bought that are maybe a day or two old from the supermarket. I wouldn't recommend using old carrots as they're not as sweet as young carrots and they won't work as well in your cake. They're also not as moist. I also would not recommend using pre-grated carrot that you buy from the shop as again it's not as moist and it's not as fresh as carrots that you've grated yourself.
I've lined a tin for my mixture. So this will now go into a preheated oven at 170 degrees for around 40 to 60 minutes. It really will depend on how powerful your oven is and you can tell when it's cooked when you press the top of the cake and it springs back. For your frosting you will need icing sugar, butter and cream cheese. It's really important that your butter and your cream cheese are at room temperature. If it curdles it's because they were not at the same room temperature before you made the mixture. So don't use them straight out of the fridge. Make sure that you leave them out for around about an hour before you decide to make this recipe. All you need to do is to mix your sifted icing sugar with your butter and your cheese and mix it until smooth. If you're doing this by hand it'll take two or three minutes. If you're using an electric mixer, I would recommend mixing the butter and the sugar, sorry, the butter and the cheese together until smooth before adding the icing sugar. If you're making it by hand as I am, then I sieve the mixture after I've mixed it to remove any lumps and it makes the frosting really, really smooth and light.